Remember the matter we discussed last night? Well, it's come to a head. I must see you at once. Oh, surely, sir. All right. I'll go direct to the point. Your experiments cost a great deal of money, don't they? If I'm not mistaken, you're practically out of funds. Oh, only for the moment, my dear. What's the purpose of it all, Victor? What kind of a scheme have you in mind? My dear Sonia, my mixed blood has taught me to keep a still tongue until I am sure of the sympathy of my listener. Why did you send for me today? I need your help. Yes? I can offer you $10,000. If, with your aid, I can ruin the merchants of Chinatown. My dear, it's my organization and perfected teleaudience machine. It should prove quite simple and very pleasant. When can you begin on this? At once. <laughs> what it is you sew in Andrew's book? Everything. More 
so now than ever. I don't see anything funny about it. Now, lady, 
Yes, yes, Captain. Oh, but well, wait a minute. You have to tell me something. I'm a reporter. Honest, I am. Yeah? I'm a writer. Oh, but 
don't you know? I know. All I know about Chinatown is what Willie Fu tells me. Huh? He may know what's going on in Chinatown. But up to the present, he hasn't told me. Is that right, Willie? I tell the world. I don't want you to tell the world. Tell me, and I'll tell the world in the clarion. Come on now, Willie, tell me. Who started this row? Is it a tall war? What are they fighting about? Who would be interested in breaking a lot of windows? What's the matter, Willie? Lost your voice? When storm rage, patient man seek refuge in shelter of silence. <laughs> Which is Willie's very polite way of saying you talk too much. Now, I wish you'd run along. I have work to do. Listen, Martin. I won't leave here till I get a story. Do you want me to lose my job? All right, Willie. Tell her something to shut her up. Then you and I can go back to work again. If Chinese merchants suspend business, logical thought indicates much profit accrued to evil rivals. Why, it's Andrew, the Chinese cook we're to get. Not Andrew. Do you want me to? No. We'll wait out here. Joe, there's your story. Somebody wants to break up the Chinese tourist trade. When well of knowledge is dry, seeker after truth must test. Well, Willie, really, the well of knowledge may be dry, but there must be a couple of bottles of grape juice out in the icebox. How about it? Mysteries of kitchen are more easily. Sit down, Joan, before you start talking again. I won't say another word till Willie comes back. It's Willie who knows all the answers. My conversation is it on you. Quietly, Armanaris. This is not a button of us in your back. Why, then, Gracie succumbed to irresistible fate. I accede to honorable request of thug. Quietly. Listen, Martin. This is a chance of a lifetime for both of us. We get the information from Willie Fu. We go down to Chinatown and clear this mess up. I get a race from the boss, and you get your picture on the front page. Sure, I do. With a great big headline, well-known author in Chinatown, slain. Why, Martin Andrews, you don't mean to say you're scared. Of course I'm scared. I'm supposed to write about heroes, not act like one. Well, Willie Fu must have found the icebox as empty as my well of knowledge. What happened to those drinks, Willie? Anyone comes close enough to touch you, remove them. Understand? Just take it easy, fellow. Nothing's going to happen to you. This is a mud game. What's all this hope? 
Shut up. They're in the passage now. the men remove their disguises and leave at once. All right, sir. You better remain. I may need you. Kind of dark and nasty looking, all right. Are you sure this is the right place?
Let's tie him up, quick. What, with my handkerchief? No. Get those curtains and hurry. Willie Foo's here. I heard him. Hi, Steve. 